Hey, hey Raj. Good evening. Hi, hi, also. Hi, good evening. Yeah, so how are you? How are you doing? Fine, 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 also. How are you? Yeah, I'm good too. Okay, okay, Raj. We can start with your self intro. Please yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Hi, also. Myself, Raj Kumar. I have completed my BE in computer science in the year of 2009. After that, I have worked in various organizations. Um, I have overall experience of 13 plus years in operations. Um, and then a five years experience in uh, domestic banking and then a five years experience in our international level banking. For uh, Currently, I'm working in PayPal as a scrum master for the past 2.3 years. Um, overall, I'm, having, I'm, I'm just handling a team of uh, six members uh, in, in scrum as a scrum master. Actually, the basic role about uh, there uh, when I joined in PayPal is about it's kind of a client onboarding. It's kind of a KOC and KYB profile, actually. Mm, and then I got an opportunity uh, internally. Uh, so OJT, mm, they have conducted some interviews for that uh, this kind of thing, actually. Mm, and then I got selected, shortlisted for the Scrum training. And I have completed my Scrum training. After that, I have, I have been handling a team of six members. Where I work as a Scrum master. Um, and then I personally get motivated myself. Uh, I want to be a project manager. I, and then I want to be a business analyst. I am self-motivated. And I completed my professional scrum master from scrum.org. Uh, I have completed my certification. This is all overall about my experience. Okay. Fine. Mm. Okay. Okay, fine. So let us start with the um, your interview. So um, yeah. what are the different scrum ceremonies? Actually, um, uh, scrum ceremonies are different like uh, uh, sprint planning and then product backlog and then sprint backlog, sprint review, sprint retro These are the scrum ceremonies. Actually. Okay. Okay, fine. Um, so moving to the next, what is an Agile according to you? Agile is a methodology um, that uh, uh, it, it, is, it is a strategy of um, uh, iterative and incremental approach that we used to build a uh, software development um, by using this kind of strategy actually. This is a methodology kind of thing actually okay, for the software development. Okay. Okay, so uh, one minute. Okay, um, so can you explain uh, daily scrum call? Yeah, the daily scrum call, it will happen for the 15 minutes. Actually, uh, development team uh, is the main, um, main participant of the scrum call. Actually, they need to discuss what is going to be do in the in, in for the, for today. What is the do do for the particular day? Like that, um, it will be like a daily fifteen minutes, and then they will start uh, working with the story individually, and they will update with the Jira tools like about the story points, everything, and all of that. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so um, what is the difference between a Scrum and an Agile? Um, about Scrum, Scrum is a lightweight framework actually. Uh, Agile is a methodology. Um, Agile can be, uh, Agile is kind of, the, it, is, it can be implemented in the highest skilled project actually. One or more teams which are involved, uh, Agile will be implemented over that in that project. But Scrum is uh, much more adaptive. Uh, even if the time of the delivery also, we can add, we can give we can add some more uh, advantage or features to them. But Agile is kind of not kind of that methodology. It is a highly skilled project with highly skilled development team actually. These are the major difference that I feel with uh, Agile and Scrum. Mm. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, uh, what is the difference between a TDD and a BDD? It's a time-driven program, actually, the TDD is a board. Um, okay.
Okay, fine. I can move to the next question. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are the values in Agile? Values are what Agile in you know, it's an incremental and iteration over the process over process and uh, tool, and then it's a working software, and then customer collaboration, and then respond to change. Actually, it's all the Agile values. Four values. Okay. Did you mention four values now or two? Yeah, yeah, four. Can you please repeat again? Okay, incremental on iteration and then working software, customer collaboration, and then respond to change. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. So I'm going to the next question. So what is the term? Sprint zero. Okay, the sprint zero actually it will be used at, at the time of the sprint preview. Actually, uh, the tester may fail to identify the bug actually over the, and then and then it, and the product got released to the stakeholder end, and they identified that there is a bug like that, um, and then we need to rework on that. This is called sprint zero actually. Tester fail to identify oh, okay. the bug actually. Okay. Uh, what is the um difference between a burn up and a burn down chart burn up is the pro it is the it is a tool which we pulled a pulled report from the zero actually um for burn up burn up chart we used for the what are the things we have completed this is the burn up chart and what are the yet to finish it's burn down chart actually okay any other difference um uh, with the help of burn up chart, uh, we can um, track track the team progress where where we stand and whether uh, the sprint goal has been yet to achieved within the sprint duration. Uh, we can track over that. The same vice versa in, in the same burn down chart, we can track which all the things uh, it's getting um, uh, waiting for dependency or some other what it is getting lagged like that. We can track up for that progress, project progress. Okay. So how do you deal with the product owner who assigns, okay, consider you're you handling a team and you're a scrum master, okay. So your product owner is assigning user stories or tasks to individual team members. Okay. Okay. So they are doing this. So as a scrum master, how will you deal with the situation? Actually, the product owner can assign, uh, it is, it is, they can assign the stories for the development development team. Actually, we can't interfere on that uh, to assign them, but we can uh, have a look on that uh, for the individuals that whether the, um, the same story has been picking up, whether they have cross-functional or whether they are picking in the EC1 or the hard one, whether we need to, as a Scrum Master, we need to analyze that. Uh, it, it, it is getting assigned equally along the among the team. Uh, we need to have a look on that and that. We need to, in my personal one-on-one -on -one discussion with my product owner, I can suggest like that we can we can cross to this person, we can cross to that, uh, we can do this thing. We can grow the team like uh, eventually we can grow if in case of someone app, some some team members may be in absence, we can pick up this person's help like that. We can suggest, but we can't command over the team, I think. <laughs> also. Okay. Okay, sure, sure. Mm, okay, so moving to the next question. Mm, so, as a Scrum Master, what is your daily work as a Scrum Master? As a Scrum Master, I need to uh, look up, um, I need to plan for us. First of all, I will plan for a sprint. Uh, uh, um, plus sprint planning, and then we need to look up for the stories. How many stories have been uh, yet to complete within the sprint? Uh, within this single sprint, uh, I need to look up for the progress. Uh, what are the things has been completed in Jira? I need to look up for the progress. Uh, which other things has been completed? Which have yet to be completed? Whether there is any implements over there? Uh, whether there is an external uh, um, things to uh, approaching from other teams to our teams? I need to block that as a blocker. Mm, and then I need to pull the report from for burn up and burn down chart. I need to send to the team uh, on the daily basis, uh, which all needs to be done like that. And then I need to uh, ask any suggestion or feedback about uh, need any help uh, actually 
these are the basic thing as a scrum master need to do i need to coordinate the product owner for further any help or the fixed kind of things actually this all the basic uh, thing as a scrum master need to do i think so okay okay good, good. so uh, moving to the next question so uh, okay i'm just giving a scenario assume that 10 yeah. stories are agreed to deliver uh, in one okay. sprint okay so now okay uh, you are in middle of the sprint okay okay and then your yeah. PO is asking to deliver an additional extra critical story in the sprint. That means already 10 stories are there. So 11th story, okay. PO is asking like this is a critical story. So what will okay. you do as a scrum master? I will have an individual conversation as one on one with my product owner, whether it is a more priority, uh, it is a more priority from the stakeholder end. Uh, like that, I I will get prioritized to the story actually, and then if it's if it's possible, we can we negotiate for this one because my team already is overloaded with ten stories for the particular sprint. I will go with negotiation. No, it is a very important urgency from uh, from the management level. Then I will discuss with my product owner and then ask me ask to uh, pull up on use a story to the next sprint. I will add that uh, story immediately to the current sprint, and we will complete that one actually. Depend upon the uh, prioritization. Okay. Okay. So, what are the characteristics of a good backlog item? Characteristics of good backlog. You are working in backlog item. It should. Be. So, what are the? Yeah, it should be. Uh, it should be. Uh, it should be transparent and it should be independent actually. Uh, it should be easy to understand what are the things uh, which are written over in the backlog, actually. These are the things that you look for. That. Okay. Okay. And... Um... Next is, what is a spike? The spike is uh, it's about overall the uh, if, it, if you are working in a in a project is there is, is there is any sudden uh, changes or a drastic change that may affect our uh, sprint goal? We need to analyze that uh, that thing and we need to get it solved. Okay, um, going to the next question. So. Uh, you are now work, you are already working as a scrum master in your project, right? So in your project, yes, yes. Uh, how do you relate your story points with ours? That means ours. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, in uh, how we learn this? Actually, the story point is uh, based upon uh, six hours. Actually, we will. I ask, so I work in my project. We will plan for a story point for six hours. Actually. Mm, per day we will calculate and then we will pull up the story and then we'll calculate for a sprint uh, for two weeks and then we'll calculate the hour it depends on how it's uh, because the uh, rest of the meeting is there and a lot of things that we will calculate a user story for uh, six hours based upon the project actually okay okay fine so moving to the next question so what are the things you have on your dod uh, give me some example. Yeah, the DOD is the, we know that it is a definition of done actually. It will be done after the sprint review. What are the things we have uh, completed and what are the things uh, tested by the QA team and uh, what are the things we have shown in the sprint review to the stakeholder and everything is being done. The product owner is the responsible to mark all the um, uh, sprint uh, backlogs. And then he is responsible, he is the sole responsible to mark it as a done in a Jira tool actually. And then uh, we will move for the next uh, sprint actually. Okay. Um... okay fine. Moving to the next question. So. One moment. Can a product owner influence a team member during estimation? 
yeah yes uh, it's absolutely it, we can uh, include some uh, because development team is going to work on the stories because product owner can give the input from the stakeholder and the requirements from the stakeholder but the sole responsibility is for the development team to give the estimation on how many within how many um hours within how many days we can going to complete that what are the dependencies is over there what are the barriers is there uh, this other thing on uh, development team is we can Okay, so uh, what is a scope cream? How do you handle in your team? Yeah, the scope scope creep is nothing that uh, without uh, the without the knowledge of Scrum Master, uh, something externally it is getting injected to your team. That is uh, to our development team. That is called scope creep. Actually, uh, if we came to know that uh, story point is not completed uh, with a time frame, or then we need to analyze whether what went wrong. I will be the next um, Scrum daily call. I will uh, we will discuss with my I will discuss with my team that. What went wrong? What it came when I came to the know about some external things again. I will work with my product owner uh, about that thing, particular things, uh, and I will discuss with my team if anything is there coming externally to to you directly or uh, without my knowledge. You need to please inform to me in prayer so that I can handle the situation. I can prioritize uh, our work on a daily basis um, to achieve the sprint goal. I will have a meet up with my team and I will get it uh, started out the uh, process. Okay. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Um, consider one of your team member is not performing up to the mark in the last two to three sprints. Okay. So how will you overcome this problem? Okay. Um, first, uh, I will I will have an uh, individual interaction with that particular. Uh, uh team member actually or what or whether where it's like it is it is a personal lagging or it's kind of an, um, a knowledge lagging or a, what kind of gap i will identify first what kind of the, the thing is that and then after identifying it sir i will try to help uh, in several ways like uh, we can have a cross functional skill if you are uh, um, able to get uh, more knowledge i can help them to get back to with the senior uh, teammates uh, with by, uh, by arranging some kind of uh, side by side kind of things and ask him to come back to the track uh, because he's being a good performer i will never blame him like that you are did this wrong reason and first of all i took all the positive things which he done previously um, for the some other projects i will go with that uh, um, strategy and i will i will try to ask him to come i will try to pull him out uh, to come back to the track again uh, with uh, different kind of things by you uh, and then we will have a discussion with our product owner uh, whether we need to look for uh, it is a uh, behavioral issue and then i need to highlight the same thing to product owner and then product owner need to decide about uh, that particular thing if it's kind of a personal thing lagging or it's a kind of a knowledge kind of lagging we can surely i can help them and then improve him to bring them to the track back surely if it is apart from that it is kind of bigger thing i will report to product owner and he will proceed for the further uh, things also Good. So in your resume, you have mentioned that even risk management you have done before in your project, right? So yeah. how do you manage your risk as a scrum master? Yeah, actually previously I worked in ICC Lombard. I think you know that ICC Lombard is kind of an uh, insurance domain actually, because uh, the risk management is a, play a vital role in uh, insurance. You know that it, because for example, if you are insuring your uh, car, for, car uh, insurance, Actually, we need to plan for risk management. We need to give for the depreciation things kind of thing. And there is a lot of factor for risk management. I am just uh, taking my previous uh, uh, experience into that. Um, actually, we will look about the, the, to the type of the, uh, which car we are going to get into. If it is a, we know that uh, which car will be good for uh, mileage, which car will be a, uh, uh, it will give less kind of mechanical work. We will get analyze the risk management. Based upon that, the insurance premium may get varied and the discounts may get varied like that. Uh, we will analyze for all kind of risk and we will give a 
potential to the customer. Based upon that, uh, we may reduce uh, risk actually to our organization actually. Uh, these are the risks we used to manage in our previous organization also. Okay. Okay. Uh, one minute. Okay. So, uh, according to you, which scrum ceremony is most critical and why? Most critical in the sense, uh, difficult to handle or? Uh... No, 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 no. See, which scrum ceremony is more important according to you? Yeah, um, according to my view, I think uh, sprint retrospective is more uh, important actually. We need to look back with our previous project. Uh, what are the things it may went positive? What are the things it affect our you know, project, uh, like kind of implements? What are the, as, as planned in the sprint, what went wrong? And where it went wrong, we need to look out for uh, the thing. And then I think, my, as per my point of view, the uh, sprint retrospective is most uh, important thing uh, to carry to the next sprint or next project or whatever it may be. Mm, I think, in my point of view, the sprint retrospective is more important actually. Okay. It is a it is a good thing to look back where we stand actually. To 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 improve our, our project in the next level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Um... Okay, consider a situation where during your sprint review, suppose okay. the product owner or the stakeholder does not agree to some future you implemented. Okay. okay, that means your team has implemented some future and they are, they are not agreeing to that. So what will you do as a scrum master? So scrum master, I will uh, just look up with what we planned uh, in the the sprint uh, planning, whether anything it's uh, went wrong apart from the requirements from the stakeholder or the stakeholder is trying to adapt more futures on that. I will first differentiate what kind of the issue actually is there is, whether it's went, uh, whether the stakeholder is uh, asking for the new enhanced future of uh, the same thing. Uh, I will ask them to, uh, what are the potential thing we can deliver? We can deliver it in the next sprint. We will take up the new uh, things that to be added. We will take up to the next sprint and we will, we will complete it off and we will hand over to the stakeholder. Okay. Fine. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, one minute. Okay, so uh, what what metrics you use in your project? What metrics we will use the KPI we can use uh, like the key performance we can use for that. Um, okay, fine. Let me move to the next. KPI is the primary factor uh, for the metrics actually. We can Sorry. So the performance over there. Sorry. Huh? Can I come again with the answer? Yeah. No, for the metrics level, we can use KPI. With key performance, we can we can see that where we stand and the, where our team stands, like that we can measure our performance. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Like, what are the metrics you use? Uh... Okay, metrics in the sense. Hmm. Yeah, I'm asking about the uh, pro you can consider okay. as a KPI even. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the what are the KPI use? We can uh, use for the um, uh, what I can how we can say that KPI. Well, we can handle the we can see the uh, average uh, last time used for the project. We can see uh, how many user stories uh, the developer has picked in uh, in this particular sprint. And how they help among the team, we can we can see the collaboration over there. What are, uh, we can consider the collaboration. What are the, what are the values he added to our organization actually? 
um, with additional futures uh, to the to, to make our stakeholder happy um, and then moreover what we can see is there any added um, kind of certification or something else you have done for uh, make him to perform better like that we can these all the things we can consider for for kpi mm, okay okay <coughs> on okay so uh, moving yes, to the sir. next question mm. so consider the situation you had a, a sprint of uh, 20 story points okay so okay. now uh, that means you have com completed the planning and you have 20 story points now the customer does not want eight story points from there okay so what he is telling me is he is asking to scrap from development so your sprint is already half day so what will you do Hmm. You want to remove the um, a story point from the uh, current twenty story points, right? Yes, he is asking that he does not want that eight. That means he does not want that stories which is worth of eight story points in the current sprint. Okay. So how will you okay. handle the situation? Okay, we I will have um, uh, meet, meet with my development team and with my with my product owner that uh, we need to prioritize which one is most important and. Uh, Which which can be completed within this sprint, and we instead of that eight, I will pull uh, eight story point from the next sprint. I will put it up here, and I will mark the uh, remaining things as uh, held for the next sprint. Mm, and I will look for the prioritization, which one is more important. Uh, whether um, to satisfy the stakeholder, we need to do based upon product owner prioritization. We need to prioritize which is the most important. We need to do it on that thing. We, we should not. Um, I uh, left the eight sprinters a uh, thing, and we need to pull back from the next sprint, and we need to complete it now. Okay, fine. So, uh, considering um, the next, um, okay, what are the changes you brought after becoming a Scrum master in your team? Yeah, actually, you know well that uh, uh, Scrum in recent days the Scrum is getting implemented overall in all kind of the technologies are over. All the things getting implemented. The I what I. change i made actually before uh, i will consider with my previous experience actually uh, while in my previous uh, um, organization i worked with a uh, same kind of waterfall method actually it will it will be the, you know that waterfall is a top to bottom approach actually from the bottom top what we will receive we will do it at the bottom and it is kind of a flow free flow that coming in and coming out we will never know what we did what went wrong what we we never analyze what kind of thing it went wrong like that and then um, after um, uh, scrum got implemented um, we used to have a, a scrum call meeting like that we will have and then we will analyze what the thing uh, to make your uh, particular individual uh, developer or work on it maybe to measure his own metrics scrum will surely help it out because it is it is fully trackable with the uh, with the help of jira tool how many stories you should just been completed how okay. uh, uh, how sorry sorry to interrupt uh, sorry to yeah, interrupt yeah. Uh, yeah i'm good i'm i i, I think uh, i can move to the next question okay uh, okay. So, okay considering the time mm. okay okay nice so name some agile engineering practices you know engineering practices have you used any agile engineering practices no, or no tools? so i mean to no no so okay okay no issues okay i'm moving to the next question okay what is the velocity according to you yeah is the velocity is the number of uh, user story it's computed by number of sprint actually from the previous sprint we will came to know how many user stories has been computed With the sprint, we can came to know. Okay, for example, fifty-four uh, stories we have completed in this uh, with this uh, team development team with this time. We we can it's kind of an average calculation. It's kind of an average calculation. Based upon that, we can uh, uh, plan for the next uh, sprint or something else. This is called velocity. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, what is your team velocity? The team, whatever you are handling, Actually, velocity. Yeah. I think my team in a single sprint they are capable of completing forty stories actually. 
40 stories or 40? It's a team of 40. It is 40 stories or 40 story points? Story point, not stories. Mm. Okay. So in Jira, how yeah. do you create a sprint and how do you start a sprint? Any, I can see you have used Jira in your project, right? Yeah, I have used, but I have not. Okay, okay, no issues. Not for any stories. Huh? Okay, no issues. One minute. Uh, okay, moving to the next. So, yeah. how to create a new page in Confluence? Yeah, we can. In, in Jira, we can find the uh, Confluence tab over there. And then we can add a new page uh, with our project name or uh, other things uh, we have uh, with the uh, link over there. We can have our uh, uh, specified uh, documentation link over there. Um, so we can use that page. Okay. Okay, fine. So, um, so okay. What is the reason for changing company? Actually, the reason for changing company uh, for my for my self progress and, and for the monetary growth actually was it. Okay. Okay, fine. So have you done any certifications? Yeah, I have completed a PSM level one also from Scrum. Okay, so can you tell like what are the topics in PSM you prepare? Yeah, yeah, I prefer for sprint planning, sprint review, uh, scrum theory, uh, scrum pillars. Uh, yeah, we have discussed mm, and then agile values. Uh, what are the things? Uh, how can I say that? Uh, scrum, what are scrum principles, scrum, this kind of things we can. Covered over that also. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm good. Um, um, I'm good, um, Raj. So, do you have any questions for me? Asaf, no, no, Asaf. Okay. I have okay. no questions. Okay. Fine. So, we can wind up. And uh, thanks yeah. for joining. One minute. Um,